Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on my Douglas Cuddle Toys Jungle Safari collection starting off here with Zelda the Zebra so I'll just show you her a little bit closer for anyone who has seen this one in store or has one of their own you'll know she is super duper soft she is part of the Douglas Deluxe range and I found that any of the ones that I have in this range are ridiculously soft which is lovely so I'll just show you the back of her tag Zelda the zebra. I love the tail on her actually and the, the black and white mane that she has there too. She's quite big. Let's see if I can pan out to show you a little bit more. She's lovely for cuddling. Definitely a great size and I just I don't have many zebra plush at home so I was pretty happy when she came out that I could purchase her. So that's Zelda. Just pop her to the side a little bit there. Next one that I have is Bentley, who is super duper tall. <laughs> there he is, that's Bentley the giraffe. This one, I believe, is still available to purchase um, as part of Douglas' regular line that you can buy, but I got this one secondhand um, just because it was a bit cheaper for me being in Australia to get this one uh, from uh, someone who was looking to downsize their collection. So even though Bentley doesn't have his hang tag there, he is in like new condition, which is lovely. So there's Bentley. If I put him back next to Zelda, you can just see <laughs> how tall he actually is. Ooh. So that's really lovely and uh, obviously going with how tall giraffes actually are. So that's super nice. So I do love my Bentley. There he is. Pop Bentley over. Next one I have is Maud the elephant. Ooh. So this one's a little bit smaller than the other two that I've showed you. Nonetheless, very lovely and soft as with Douglas toys. So I'll just show you the back of the tag. Maud the elephant number 3761. He's got a cute little tail. You know, it's a nice size for cuddling, be a good size for kids too, and obviously me being a collector, you know, sometimes you need to get the small ones to be able to fit them on the shelf. So there's Maud. And the next one that I have is another little one. And this is Lazy the Lion. He's actually pretty cute and I love the little soft pink nose that Lazy has there. Interesting name for a lion. I guess maybe they were going for an L word or an L name, if you will. So I'll just show you the back of the tag. Lazy the lion. So he's lovely and soft. And he's got some great detailing in his mane there too. So there's Lazy. So another lion that I have is Raja. So he's a bit bigger. Or actually, you know, substantially bigger than Lazy. I'll just pop them next to each other. So there are those two lions. I do love the, again, the nose. They've used that cute little nose on Raja again there. So I'll just show you him a little bit more. Lovely textured fur on Raja. Very quite unique, actually. Very different texture to the one that they've used on Lazy. It's actually, yeah, really realistic. So there's Raja. The lion, small. So there they are. The lions, I do have one more lion to show you, which is a super big boy, which is Zeus. Oop, there he is. He's lovely. Another big one to cuddle, probably even slightly bigger than Zelda the Zebra. But just look at the detailing on his paws. And he's got a soft black nose. It's quite, um, I'm not quite sure what fabric that is, just a nice soft material they've used rather than a leatherette type fabric. So there he is. He goes in a nice laying down position. Zeus the lion. So he's good, you could pop him at the end of the bed or down the bottom of the shelf. He's a good one. Good one for cuddling on your lap as well. So there's Zeus. 
Next one that I have, which I haven't really seen too many plush in this uh, breed or type of animal, which is Gypsy the Cougar. So she has more of a, a plasticky nose. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, it's plasticky rather than soft like on the lines that I just showed you. So there's Gypsy the Cougar, 4097. She's another small one, probably a similar size to Lazy, if I bring him back to show you. Just a little bit bigger than Lazy the Lion, if that helps, a little bit longer. They look quite cute together. There's Gypsy. And the next one that I have is the tiger little handful. Couldn't help myself. It's just the, these little handfuls that Douglas make are super cute. So that's the tiger little handful. Just show you from behind. And it doesn't have a name, it's just tiger little handful. There's that one. I love them. I love how soft they are and you can hold them nicely in your hand. As I've said before, handful of love. That's the tiger little handful. Another tiger that I have is Goldenrod. Again, the plastic nose for Goldenrod. He's got a very striking face. I do love that about Goldenrod here. And the different type of uh, material that they've used. Very nice and soft, again. So that's Goldenrod the tiger. Some of my babies are shedding on the quilt there. That's okay. So that's golden rod. And this next one is another pre-loved baby. This is Pancake, the Bengal tiger. I just love the blue eyes on Pancake. I got this one um, with a few pre-loved ones. It's always a good excuse to give them extra cuddles when they're pre-loved. I'm not sure if anyone else leaves the tags on their plush. I get so worried when I'm cuddling them that I'm going to damage the tag. So sometimes it's nice when they come in the post and they just don't have a tag so I don't feel worried about that. I don't know. I feel so strange cutting off tags sometimes. Maybe I'm just a little bit weird. Anyway, that's Pancake. And the next one that I have is another tiger, Silky. Let's look at her properly. You can see her eyes. She has light, lighter blue eyes, I guess, than Pancake. You can see the different colours in their eyes there. But they both have that plasticky nose. So she's really, really lovely too. I do love my Silky. I'll show you the tag. Silky the White Tiger. Just pop her over here. Silky, and a couple more to show you. The next one is Chillin' the Cheetah. If I can get Chillin' to sit nicely to show you. There you go. Looks like he has a quizzical, like, baby face to me, Chillin'. He's got really like a, a almost like a cheetah cub or a baby one to me. That's what he looks like. Love the spots. And then the white teddy with the nice paw prints underneath. Doesn't have any really markings, it's just sort of like a, a plain material texture that they've used there. To show you. Oh, there you go. Anyway, helps if you read the tag. It actually says it's a cheetah cub, so there you are. I was right. So chill on the cheetah cub, and that's awesome. So they've really made sure to look, make it look like the baby. So spot on. If you were just looking at it, you can already guess that it's the cub. So there you go. Chill in the cheetah cub. There he is. And the last one that I have to show you is Spatter the Leopard. And he's lovely and soft. I feel like I say that a lot, but I cannot express to you how soft they actually are. So there he is, Spatter. I do actually have another leopard um, cuddler or one that comes with a little blanket, but I couldn't find it and I wanted to do this video for you guys today so again in the future I'll try and find that leopard but in the meantime we've got Spatter the leopard to look at super super soft belly so there's Spatter for you has that soft nose on this one like Zeus that soft velvety type feeling on the nose 
and some super cute little whiskers or markings on the muzzle there too, which is awesome. So there you are, that's the last one that I have to show you in my Jungle Safari collection. As I said, there is one more. I will try and find it, so maybe I can do an updated collection. I believe um, Douglas is going to be releasing some new plush soon. I'm not sure if they've got any Jungle Safari ones that I'll be interested in getting, but you never know, and I'm sure something will catch my attention. So if I get some new ones, I'll pop them all in a new video together. But if you'd like to see any of the ones I've just shown you a little bit closer or from a different angle or anything, just let me know. Um, yeah, and maybe in the next video I might do another Douglas one, maybe some farm sanctuary animals. That would be cute. So yeah, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.